I'm looking at a historical chart of bismuth prices. I finally found a good chart of it. So right now the spot price is about $4.92. I've bought it for six, seven dollars a pound, which is um, actually quite a low premium considering that it's a base metal, right? Good luck trying to buy copper or nickel or zinc or aluminum at anywhere ne at, at that kind of ratio near spot prices, especially a pure a pure metal, right? The bismuth I buy is 99.99% .99 pure. Now, um, in 1970, uh, bismuth was about four dollars a pound as well. Now, imagine, imagine going, being able to go to your local bank and buying an ounce of gold for thirty-five dollars an ounce, right? That's that's how I like to view the low price of bismuth today. And a lot of it is produced in China. So when you're buying bismuth. You can view it as you're taking your fiat currency that China is foolishly stockpiling on right now, right? And they're giving you real money in return, right? That's that's how I like to view the idea of buying bismuth today. Now, up until up until 19 the 19 teens when the Federal Reserve was formed, basically um, a pound of bismuth was about two dollars, and um, silver was about a buck thirty an ounce. So. A pound of bismuth was worth a little bit over an ounce and a half of silver, right? So today that would make for $30 a pound of bismuth. That's not very dramatic, but you got to remember silver itself is quite undervalued relative to gold as well, right? Right now the gold to silver ratio is uh, uh, 80 or 90 to 1, but it really should be 15 to 1. So you got silver being undervalued six times relative to gold. You got bismuth being undervalued another... Uh, Let's see, six or seven times of relative to uh, silver. So it's really some 30 sometimes that bismuth is undervalued relative to, to gold. And don't forget, gold itself is quite undervalued too, right? So that gives you an idea. But if we look at some other metals, you can see that this um, property is kind of unique to uh, bismuth compared to some of the other base metals. This is uh, aluminum right here. Keep in mind that 1960, that wasn't too far removed from when aluminum used to be a precious metal, right? Uh, and it has gone up from uh, a little bit over $60 a ton up to 400 a ton. Uh, I would say aluminum is still quite undervalued relative to gold. And it has the potential of becoming a precious metal again, right? Uh, part of the, the reason aluminum is cheap today is because the process of electrolysis is really cheap. That might not stick around for very long. Bismuth doesn't need uh, electrolysis to produce. This is antimony, which is just one row above bismuth on the periodic table. And um, it has gone up uh, in proportion to uh, gold and some of the other precious metals. Beryllium, I think, is a good investment too because it is used in nuclear... Uh, uh, energy as well. So I, I keep talking about the RTGs. Beryllium absorbs neutrons, uh, absorbs alpha radiation and gives off neutrons. So I wonder if you can get this into a cycle. Let's say you produced, um, let's say you had a mixture of polonium and beryllium. So polonium gives off alpha radiation, which then it gets absorbed by the uh, uh, beryllium, which then gives off neutrons which you can then absorb into more bismuth to produce polonium. I wonder if you can get that into a loop and just create a lot of thermal runaway uh, reaction. Uh, thoughts like that keep me up at night. How, how, how to get that uh, in, into a uh, runaway uh, uh, reaction. And then you could never have to worry about uh, recharging uh, your devices. I used to live out of my car, and so thoughts like how, how to be able to keep my computer on 24-7, because I, I run uh, AI simulations for computer games. And that's why I'm fascinated with the idea of this forever battery that, well not forever, but three, four months, right, the half-life of polonium, or even longer if you can regenerate it with uh, the beryllium alloy that I'm thinking of. Anyway, so we got bismuth is, if you think silver is undervalued, bismuth is further undervalued relative to it. And um, also there's a lot more potential for a Hunt Brothers kind of event with Bismuth.